Good morning. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I'm off to my office. It's not what I expected, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. That's been sitting there since March. That's kind of gross. Um, I'm going to collect some of this when I'm done here and bring it home. Um, but there you have it. There's my work desk. My little station. All right. It is 12.20. I am in a good spot to take a break. So I'm going to pack up some of the stuff from my desk and head home um, before my meetings resume. Got a lot of work done being here. There's nobody here in this entire floor. I think I've seen two people, which is good. It should be that way. Uh, but I'm gonna bring home some of the stuff that I've been missing. Some things I need to bring home. I need to bring home this is actually the Qi charging pad to put on your desk set. This World Showcase emblem's coming home. Thank you so much, Mark and Sandy. It was great meeting you all that time ago. October 2017, wow, almost three years, or it has been over three years. And I think I'm gonna bring home these photos. Some of my books back here, I've got a Pixar guide, an analytics book, a mathematics book, a Bill Marriott book, and some notepads as well as my Jordy. As well as my Jordy dictionary and my coffee dictionary. Look at this cool hip sign I have in my office. We put the world on vacation. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm basically packed up here. Got my laptops, got my bag of everything I've been missing. I must bring home my chanchito, my Wally, and Stitch are gonna stay. Uh, because we do plan on coming back potentially as early as January, but we'll see. I don't think I will make it delayed even more, but this is everything I've been needing or wanting or missing. That is clever. One-way staircases. Only ups and only downs. I should have shown you that SeaWorld right there. I should have gone up to the seventh floor and shown you the dolphins that I used to watch when I was on my I'm on the third floor now. There's some roller coasters. When I was on the seventh, I used to be able to take a coffee break and watch the dolphins in their like holding pens. All right, I figure since I'm all the all the way over here, why not spend an extra 10 minutes on the way home, stop the PO box, and today is Sarah's half birthday, which is super important to her. So I'm gonna stop at Whole Foods too and see if they got any good like little cakes or something um, that I can pick up and grab since it's on the way back to I-4 to head home. So little quick little stops to bring a lot of happiness, hopefully. Home at Whole Foods. Look at these cute rosemary trees. Those are adorable. All right, so I'm gonna get this tiramisu and a bunch of mix and match cookies because Sarah loves bakery cookies. Success, we got a bunch of cookies and a tiramisu. It's gonna be great. All right, here's the spread. We got a tiramisu slice, whatever that weird thing is. We also got all these. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. I had a weird work day starting it off at the office ending it in the later evening here at home but something cool is today is actually the global town hall with our ceo and c-suite of leaders and it's weird that this happens twice a year it happened in march literally the first time like literally the week that covid first got diagnosed in america where like the ceo and chief officers were like hitting elbows for the first time in public that i saw rather than handshakes and i'm enjoying the town hall with sarah and my baby hi they're they're timeshare experts with me so we're watching this then i got one more call we are dbc members tried and true we are tag team in dinner tonight i started Little baby got hungry, now Peter's finishing. We made little 
zucchini fries. We're gonna actually put these in for 15 minutes and then we'll flip them and put that in for 15 minutes. We're making a little tomato basil flatbread. And here's our finished product. The kitchen smells so good. I'm super pumped. Peter put on Little Women. Let's eat. Look at this very content baby. Is there anything better than a baby in just a white onesie? I don't think so. Peter just made this delivery over here. Also the last of the eggnog I was inspired by Home Alone. Uh oh. Uh oh. She's on the cookie prowl. Look at this sweet baby boy just snoozing away. With his little hand up. Out. Cold. One is cozier than the next. We've just been watching movies tonight. I just took a shower. Peter's still gonna go on a run. We're a little downtrodden. A little. Just like getting back to work. Um, and just like the last two weeks were just so, so incredible. Um, but now, like today was off because Peter had to actually go into the office. But hopefully tomorrow we'll start to get more of a feel for like how our everyday life will actually be. Peter's sleep study, the in-office one, is actually on Friday. Um, so he'll be gone overnight. So that is actually like not normal. Um, but hopefully tomorrow we'll do, we'll get out of the house. I haven't left the house in like two days. Um, so hopefully tomorrow we'll... We'll have a little bit more fun. So sweet. Look at these beautiful lights on Park Avenue. And oh, I didn't get there over there. They got poinsettias now. Plan on Park Ave. I have two little Park Avenue running snippets. First up, how about that mask up Winter Park? One thing is a quick one, and it's when you get out and you walk or you run every day or you get on a stationary bike or you lift some hand weights at home do something to raise that heartbeat every day not only does it help you you get your heart rate up and your cardio workout um it eventually if you do it consistently reminds you that your food has such a big impact on your body and how it's producing and processing and everything this is the third day of running now and I'm at that point because I got Sarah those cookies and that cake for her half birthday. And I was like, whatever, it's her half birthday. It's cool, I'm gonna have these. It's cool, I had them. I had too many. I am feeling it on this run because those were fall dairy and eggs. And that doesn't, isn't sitting right. But the other thing is, the time has truly come. We're just over a year from World Marathon Challenge. There's no more room to play around or finagle. It's been a long time because of COVID and because of just how Run Disney works that Sarah and I haven't really pushed ACS fundraising. I think the last one was Chicago Marathon for me and then Chicago Marathon for Grant, um, which we still are running probably next year um, with ACS. But that fundraiser is complete. Now is onto the big, big, big ACS one, which we're gonna do in a ton of fun, small, donation request five ten twenty bucks but we're also going to be asking for companies to get involved and people who are philanthropic with 100 500 1000 donations so you're going to hear from about that a lot more from us in the coming year um so if you know anybody you can reach out to me at this email um we can get to talking on on any any form of donation monetary or product that we can use um, to, f to fundraise for, for American Cancer Society for such an important cause, especially now during COVID. I've been thinking a lot and I've been like kicking myself in the tail. Like, why do, why, do, why do I think this is so hard to fundraise during COVID? Because there's so many people that are financially hurting. But then here in America, you see the election and you see millions and millions and millions of dollars pour into these two candidates. For what? To just get more commercials out and everything. When that money could be going towards people who are losing their health insurance right now, who are them or their family members are fighting cancer. Um, 
So that, it's funny that that's been a byproduct of the American presidential election. It's been like, wait, we need to fundraise and fundraise hard because this whole, it's going to be, it is going to be hard to fundraise with the current economic affairs. But if we can see Biden and Trump pulling in millions and millions and millions, we can get money coming in for cancer. That's for sure. Anyway, this is too long of a clip now. I said it was going to be short, but here it is long. I have to go finish my running another four miles down today. I'm back from the run, feeling good. Heating up a bottle of formula right there. I'm gonna do a daily message because we're kind of playing risk. We're playing, we're, we're playing the odds with James right now. All right, today is November. Wait, is, is today the 18th? My half birthday. Oh yeah. <laughs> today is quarters by go. Let everyone sweep in front of his own door and the whole world will be clean. Ain't that the truth? James has been asleep for a while now, so Sarah and I are getting to the point where we're a little concerned. He may not sleep through the night because he's been, we let him sleep for the past few hours. So the game plan is we're gonna get him a nice toasted bottle of formula, get his outlet on, get him in a swaddle, change his diaper, get him ready for bed. And in that process, if he wakes up enough, hit him with that hot bottle or warm bottle of formula, fill his belly right up, hopefully just to lull him back to sleep, but we shall see. Fingers crossed. He just keeps stretching. And I'm stretching you. Oh gosh, thanks. This is the, oh, I'm gonna be up all night. <laughs> <laughs> Say a prayer. Yeah, we're giving him the warm formula right now. But his eyes swaddle. are pretty wide. So. Peter and I barely hung out today. I know it was the first day where like I'm taking over some responsibility, so I actually had a call at a later call with Aust with part of our Australian team. Mm -hmm. So I like worked in the office this morning, came home in the afternoon, and then worked late, and then it was like finishing dinner, then cleaning up dinner. Tag like, team. Like just like adult parent life yeah and like, yeah so like before we knew it it was like 8 30 and then i was just chilling with him while sarah took a shower and then i was like wait i have to go run so that was our day yeah but but it's a great day day's worth remembering oh yes and me and james he had a, a nice day where he didn't want me to put him down and i have no complaints <laughs> it's good to be home it's good to be home but we might see christmas tomorrow We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.